and that's why before I did this video like I went through a phase of do should I do it or should I not do it and for um you who is trying to write the XX exam I wish you all the best please just keep your brain focused keep your mind together just that little sacrifice of two months three months it's rewarding at the end hi guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl ij if this is your first time being here you're most definitely welcome and if you're a returning subscriber or maybe you just stumble upon this video because you're looking for something that has to do with NCLEX you are welcome as well so I just want to encourage you guys to first of all go ahead and subscribe to this channel because you don't want to miss any content that's coming up about NCLEX if you're interested and if you are going to stick around just make sure if you want more videos like this subscribe down below do not forget to hit the notification button just so that when I upload you will be notified now this video is geared towards those who are interested in nursing those who are in nursing school or maybe you're about to take the NCLEX exam then this video is for you or maybe if you have a brother a sister a friend who is preparing for the NCLEX for the NCLEX exam then this video is for you guys so share with them share 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 subscribe 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 do not forget to like thumbs up this video and also comment down below so if there are any videos that you're interested in about NCLEX please leave me a comment down in the comment section below let me know what you're interested in knowing and I will make a video on that if you have not watched any of my NCLEX videos I'm going to leave a card somewhere on the screen so that you can just click on it and it takes you right to the video so um for those of you guys who are interested or who are about to um, write the NCLEX exam or who are in nursing school and you're looking for the best materials to study for the exam, this is a video for you. So if you know anybody who is about to take the exam who is in school, please hit them up with this video and tell them to watch because you will not be disappointed. So in this video, I'm just going to share with you guys five of the best resources out there that you can use in order to study for NCLEX. According to me, I don't know about other people, but according to my assessment, according to what I used, this is my own, or this is my own um, opinion. Now, you don't have to use all five of them. You can cho choose just two of them, because to me, two is enough. Three is a cloud, honestly, because it's just so much information that you can get confused if you have more than two um, resources that you're using. So I'm just sharing with you guys five, so you can choose two from each or two from them and be like, okay, this is what I want to concentrate on. So the number one, it doesn't go, I'm not ranking it according to number one being the best and number four being the lowest or something. I'm just going haphazardly. Number one is Kaplan. Kaplan is a very, very great resource I resource to use. I know Kaplan is expensive, but if you have the money, I will advise you to invest your money into it because it has like, they have thousands of questions that you can practice. And then number two, they have this thing about the decision tree. The decision tree is a very, very great tool because it teaches you how to answer questions in NCLEX. It teaches you how to eliminate. And even when you read something and you don't even know what they're talking about, but using the, the, that decision tree, if you understand it properly, you can do elimination and it directs you or leads you to the best answer or to the right answer. So that aspect about the decision tree is very, very nice. If you don't know about the decision tree, then Kaplan is something that you should look into or maybe research about the decision tree. Maybe you can find some little nicks and, um, you know, secret out there that can help you. But the decision tree is really, really good because it really, it breaks down the questions and then it directs you to the right answer. So if you don't even know the material, if you don't know the topic they're talking about, you don't know what the question is about because trust me you won't know everything in, in nursing you just need to know what you're supposed to know and which is really really hard because it's just a vast um or it's a wealth of information out there that um uh, that we have to know but now using the decision tree in to pass NCLEX is really really a good tool and then number two the one thing about um Kaplan that I really like, it has this diagnostic tool that it um when you, once you take maybe any of the um the tests or sample 
tests or exams it shows you it gives you your strength and your weaknesses so it shows you the areas where you're very good at and then it also shows you the areas that you need more work which is really nice because then you don't have to concentrate on maybe psych psychiatry or on pets when you know that okay i'm already good in this area then you can focus maybe in adult health you can focus maybe in something else or maybe gynae or something so it's really um really really nice when it comes to that aspect another thing about kaplan is for those of us that are just coming out from nursing school if you sign up with them or maybe if you subscribe with them so if you take the exam within six months and you don't pass your money will be given back to you which is which is very nice so even if you spend the 400 and something and you don't pass which i think nobody will want to fail you know your money is guaranteed but even aside that it is a very very great resource for you to use in order to pass English. and then one other thing that i like about kaplan is that they have the mobile app that you can download the app on your phone you log into the um into the software and you can access all the questions so maybe you're not at home or maybe you're in a place where you're waiting for your friend at the restaurant or wherever you are you can access the questions and you can go through you can be studying why you know having fun somewhere you know what i mean within the three months gap that they gave, that they gave you if you do not write within that to that three months they give you an extra one month for free so you have an extra one month after the three months that you actually paid for and then another thing with kaplan is that you can um maybe if that month if you're in that month and you still haven't registered for the exam you can renew your subscription every month but it's just more money i think it's 100 and something to renew your subscription every month so depending on your pocket that may be a good choice or uh, depending on what your needs are that might be a good option for you now another tool that's out there that you can use is uwall uwall is a very great tool it's much cheaper than ankle than um, kaplan and it has tons of questions like many questions and one thing i love about uwall is that they try to cover every little topic like every little topic in NCLEX. they try to have something a question on it which is really really nice and it's not so expensive as kaplan one thing I also love about you all is when when you're doing the questions and maybe you fail or you pass any of the questions they give you rationales which is really nice so you can answer a question and they give you a rationale about that particular topic what I used to do is once I answer a question they give me the rationale and I will read all the rationales, go back to my textbook, make sure I read that particular topic again so that I don't have to come back to that particular topic. So if I'm done with that topic, I'm done with it for good. That's what I was doing. And if you fail it, it's the same thing. They give you a rationale and they give you everything that pertains to that particular topic, which is really, 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 really nice. And then um, just like um, NCLEX, Oh, sorry, just like Kaplan, they also have a mobile app, so you can download the app on your phone and you can go through the questions anytime, any day, anywhere. I think with um, you was 60 days is about $139 and then 360 days is $440, is $249. So that is much cheaper than Kaplan. So you can make your choice based on you all or you can make a choice based on Kaplan. It's all up to you. Another material out there that's really nice also is nursing.com. Actually, this website was created by a registered nurse who um, took the NCLEX exam and she gained a wealth of information about NCLEX and she decided to, um, you know, help some of us out there who are struggling. One very great thing about the um, nursing.com website is that it has tons of information you have videos that you can watch you have um some materials that you can even print off you have audios that you can listen to they can reflect your mind on things that you are uh, that maybe you missed or that you don't know that's that's something that i really liked about it i used it one i didn't really dig deep into it because i was watching it was towards when i was about to take the exam that i was watching on the material so i didn't really um dig deep into it but i just like the fact that you had videos on it you had um audios and you could print out some pages or some little cards that can help you with little things to um, remember like potassium like all those values potassium and 
um, sodium and those things you have all those little cuts that you can print off from the website now another resource that I know if you have it you shouldn't fail and clicks and if you read it from page one to the end you should not fail and clicks and that book is the Sounders textbook. Like I say in all my videos, the Sounders textbook is the Bible of NCLEX. If you know everything in that book, there is no how you can fail NCLEX. If you tell me you've read that book from beginning to end and you see fail NCLEX, it means you didn't read it properly. It means you need to check something. You're not doing something right. So the Sounders book is a material that I think if you're looking for something to use, get the Sounders textbook. That book is the best. It has questions at the end of every chapter and it actually gives you information on every chapter that you're going to go through in nursing or that you need for the NCLEX exam. So if there's one resource that I'm going to recommend for you guys is the Sounders textbook, then you can add these other question banks onto it. So the other um, resource I'm going to recommend to you guys is there's this lady on YouTube. She does YouTube um, videos on disease conditions in some of those topics that I was, I was not understanding. Like some disease conditions like um, say a patient with hyper um, hyperkalemia, hypokalemia, like things like that. It's very, it can be very confusing. But if you look, if you watch her videos, you can easily, and then one good thing about her is that she has mnemonics that you can use to remember some of those things. And for example, like um, for the newborn immunizations, she has some mnemonics that you can cram and then you'll remember which immunization is for three months, for, a one, for a month, one month or for three months, for six months and things like that. She does a very, very good job. So I'm going to leave her information on the screen and also in the description bar below so that you guys can check it out. Her name on YouTube is Registered Nurse RN. Just type it there, you should be able to see her. She looks something like that. I don't know if you guys can see it here, but that is... She has this purple thing running through all her videos, so you cannot miss it. Mm -hmm. Check it out and you, you will not regret it. She does a very good job breaking down every disease condition. Like when I listen to her videos, I used to listen to her videos when I'm like traveling, um, driving home or something. And it just sinks right in. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I hope you did like it. If there is any video that you're interested in or there's any topic you're interested in in nursing, please do not hesitate to leave me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe because I'm going to be doing more videos on NCLEX. I'm really just so excited because um, I feel very happy because I feel like I'm able to help people with my YouTube videos on NCLEX. I've seen many people, many people have commented on the or post a comment under my YouTube videos and be like, oh, thank you so much for your help. Thank you. I really like your videos. You've really encouraged me and things like that. And this is why we're actually here for to encourage each other to succeed in this life because things can be very crazy and it can be very, um, it can be very overwhelming at times. But if you have somebody that you can talk to, I mean, you may not see me physically, but just listening to my videos and that encourages you, that makes me feel like I'm doing something good. And that's why before I did this video, like I went through a phase of do, should I do it or should I not do it? But just the fact that when I think about those who requested this video, I'm like, you know what? I have to help somebody out there. Even if it's just one person that watches the video, that's fine by me. So I hope I was able to help in any way. If I did, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. And for um, you who is trying to write the NCLEX exam, I wish you all the best. Please just keep your brain focused keep your mind together just that little sacrifice of two months three months it's rewarding at the end do not let anybody distract you in any way so thank you for watching this video i will talk to you guys in my next video until then take good care of yourself and ciao bye bye